I want to go over another document. It is called Earthly and Spiritual Insights in Common Situations. So in this exercise, we are going to go through some scenarios. In each scenario that we go through, we are going to see the earthly and spiritual point of view. You should always see things in the spiritual point of view, not in the earthly point of view. If you continue to see things in the earthly point of view, you are going to continue to stay in sin. You are going to continue to make mistakes in life much more or still the same. If you want change to happen, you have to see things in the spiritual point of view, as you can see here. So let's go to scenario number one. I finally decide to be obedient to God's word. I became saved slash holy. Suddenly, I am being criticized and taunted by particular people. They are being disrespectful. Why is this happening? The earthly point of view, which is wrong. They are being disrespectful. If they continue to act in this manner, I will hurt them. I will get my revenge. I have to reserve my honor, which is wrong. Evil. Okay. The spiritual point of view. Demons are influencing or possessing these people to treat me in this manner. Satan is trying to get me back into sin. Satan knows that God has great plans for me. Satan is trying to send me to hell. Always see things in the spiritual point of view. Always. Number two. I'm in sin. Everything that I do fails. I work many jobs, but I never seem to have enough money. My health is not that great. Even when I save money, problems arise. I have to use all the saved money to fix particular problems. Why is this happening? Earthly point of view, which is wrong. I just have bad luck. Bad luck eventually reaches all, which is wrong. Spiritual point of view, which you need to look at and adopt. I am being cursed for every sin that I practice. I am reaping what I have sowed. If I want these curses to be lifted, maybe I should stop sinning. I will be obedient to God and sow good seeds, doing things that God wants us to do. Basic. Number three. When I hang out with my friends, they drink, smoke, fornicate, which is sex before marriage, and do other things I particularly don't have interest in. Yet, the more time I spend with them, the more I get interested in doing these things. Yes, I know it is wrong. It seems very exciting. It feels as though I am missing out on fun. What is happening? Earthly point of view. I am just changing. My friends are making me more open-minded. Life is short. YOLO. <laughs> you might as well have fun. Wrong. Spiritual point of view. The demons which are influencing slash possessing your friends, they are being placed upon you. Those wicked demons are trying to influence you to get, to get you trapped in the same sin as your friends. Number four, I am saved slash holy. I stay away from all sin, staying obedient to God. I am having horrific and perverse dreams. Random things are going wrong. My health is slightly failing. My life is becoming a tad bit more difficult. What is happening? The earthly point of view. Give me a second, please.
So the earthly point of view, <clears throat> I am just having random problems. Things like this happens to everyone. Nothing too special here. Spiritual point of view, you are temporarily under demonic attack. Satan intends to kill you, but doesn't have the authority to do so. So he is trying to torment you as much as possible. He is hoping that you will give up on God and turn to sin. Once this happens, he will have more influence over your life. In other words, stay saved slash holy. Continue to pray each day as long as needed. Amen. Number five. Ever since I was a child, I was treated poorly. As a child, I needed guidance, but hardly found any. Love was something I sought out for, but rarely received. This has made me quite bitter and vengeful. I have trust issues. I believe in the motto, every man or woman for him or herself. Meaning, taking care of yourself, don't depend on anyone. Earthly point of view, some people just have bad luck in life. I am just one of those type of people. There is nothing I can do about it. Wrong. Spiritual point of view. Satan used whoever was responsible for me through that, through that particular person or people, I was tormented. Satan is trying to evolve me and becoming a lifelong sinner. Eventually, he will try to get me to blame God for my horrible life, saying he is not real. Even though I had a hard life, I can't reject God. If I do reject God, I will be doing Satan a great favor. I would become one of his cursed servants. Take heed to this, please. Number six, I am married. I was happy to get married at first. I found out there is a special blessing for people who are married. For some odd reason, my spouse, my spouse is not acting correctly, not acting in a way which the Bible instructs us to do. I have made sure that I am not the cause of the problem. I have prayed to God for guidance. Why is this happening or what is happening? Earthly point of view. Well, all married couples have problems. It is normal. No need for alarm. <laughs> no. Spiritual point of view. Your marriage is under demonic attack. First thing you and your spouse should do is pray consistently together. Fasting is something that should be considered. God works in order. Satan loves to pervert that order. Whatever God has established, Satan does the reverse. So this is the end. I really hope you all understand this and really take heed to this. This is really going to help you. Look at things in the spiritual, not in the natural. If you do this, you are going to understand things much more better. Take heed to this. God bless.